Okay, in this next segment, what we want to talk about is how to create schedules or time zones. Schedules and time zones allow us to restrict access of users' movement through, through a facility. So if we have users, for example, that are on day shift and we want them to only be able to access the building from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, we want to create a schedule for that. What I've done is I've created the little PowerPoint that I think will make things a little easier for us to kind of understand the concept here. And the concept is this. We're going to create a time zone or a schedule for day shift, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. So that's going to be the title. The second thing that we're going to do is we have to create the start time in the software. So the start time is going to be at 7 a.m. The stop time is going to be at 4 p.m. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enable group one Monday through Friday. Once we set that up, the next step is to switch to schedule view. So let me show you how you do that into the software. From here, we're going to basically open up a lock. Time zones or schedules are lock specific. So that's the other reason why we create one lock, created this the template, because if we want those same time zones or schedules transferred from one lock to the other, it's easier to make it as a template, and then when we do the cloning process, all of that information carries over. So here's how we do it. We're going to come up to the icon here called Schedule. And remember, we're creating a schedule that starts at 7, stops at 4. It's a very simple process. We come up here to the start time, highlight it, 0700 AM. We want this to stop at 4 PM, so 0400 P. Now, what you'll notice is that I did start on Sunday, but I did that for a specific reason. We're going to come back here, instead of having to do this manually for five days of the week, we have a shortcut. Imagine that. Highlight, right click, set all. Highlight, right click, set all. Now here with the days of the week, we want this to be Monday through Friday. You notice that seven days are enabled. Here's how we change that. Right click, enable Monday through Friday. That's step one. Step two is we're going to come down here to the description screen. And in the description, let's just simply type day shift. We're going to make day shift group one. So we're going to choose, it's all drop downs by the way, group one. And from the event, we're going to choose enable. Enable simply means that I'm enabling the group between that specified time period, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. The time zone is going to come right from here that's in the screen here. This is time zone number one. Time zone number one. You notice a little pencil here? It means it's still writing. Let's just click to any open cell, get rid of it. Third step. Switch to schedule view. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. What happens there is we now have a time zone. Anyone that we have put into group one will be controlled by the time zone 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Let's make another one. I'm going to show you the common time zones that most companies will use. So let's close these screens here. Let's, let's go back to uh, my PowerPoint. Okay, let's go to the next screen. The next screen that we want to choose is we're going to unlock the lock at 11 a.m. and we want it to relock at 1 p.m. This is a common time zone that may be used on a lunchroom door or an area where we are allowing free access. I call it flow control. So the thing that we want to do here, again, pick your start time. We want it to start at 11 a.m. We want it to stop at 1 p.m. We just want a two-hour window of time. We're going to have it unlocked Monday through Friday, and it's the same process. Switch to schedule view. Let's show you how to do it in the software. From here, we're going to go back up to the schedule screen. We're going to add a time zone. What's our start time? 11 a.m. 11.00 a.m. 1 p.m. 01.00 p.m. Boom, we're done. Copy. Highlight, right click, set all. Highlight, right click, set all. Come over here. Let's make this a Monday through Friday. Step one's done. Now, for the description, just call it lunch. Now, this is not a we're not controlling users or groups. This is a functional lock. So this column stays blank. In the event, we're going to choose unlock. In other words, we want it to unlock between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Time zone, again, we're getting it right here, time zone number two. So let's choose time zone number two. Get rid of our pencil. Step three, switch to schedule view. Do you want to overwrite? Yes. This is your check and balance. This is how you can tell if something is either correct or incorrect. You can do your edits. You'll notice Monday through Friday on this particular door, tells you right here, it's a model 3500. It's ABC General Hospital. It's the front door. It's going to be unlocked from 11 a.m. 
to 1 p.m. Monday through Friday. Okay. I think everyone's kind of understanding the whole process of how we do the time zones. Let's do another one. Okay, what we want to be able to do is we want to have a holiday schedule. Now, we've got Thanksgiving coming up later this week, and what we want to be able to do is we don't want the uh, Group 1 users, their codes, to be enabled or allow them to enter the building on Thursday and Friday, November 25th and, no and November 26th. So let's show you how to do a holiday schedule. What we have to do is we have to create a conflict. We create that conflict with the exact same time as the group we're trying to disable or create the holiday for. We call it a suppression schedule or a conflict. We know that group one starts, their, their users, the, the group one day shift users are enabled at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a conflict. We're going to start another time zone at 7 a.m. And what's going to happen is it's going to see that at 7 a.m. there's going to be an enable and they're also going to see a disable. And the way the system works is simply this. Disable overrides enable. Lock overrides unlock. So it's very simple. Start 7 a.m. You notice that there's no stop time. And the reason is, is that a holiday schedule is simply conflicting with the start time. Therefore, you don't have to worry about the stop time. All we're going to do is create the event is disable group one. Now it's day date specific. It's November 25th, Thursday, November 26th, Friday. Let me show you how you do it in the software. Come over here. Same thing. Come up to the schedule screen. We're going to add another time zone. We're now at the time zone number three. We're going to come down here to Thursday. We know that Thursday, group one shift, it starts at 7 a.m. So let's change that to 0700 a.m. We're going to delete the stop time. Here we're going to choose the correct month, November. And we know that November 25th is Thursday. Let's come down here and choose the 25th. We're going to do the same thing for Friday because the company is going to be closed both days. So 0700 AM. Same thing, delete it. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to choose November 26th. And there it is right there. Now, you notice that we have check marks all the way down the column. Obviously, we have to move the, remove these because we only want the schedule to be in effect on Thursday and Friday. So how we're going to do that is we're going to right click, disable all. It's going to remove all the check marks. We're just simply going to come back here and click Thursday, click Friday, step one. The next thing that we're going to end up doing is we're going to write in the description, Thanksgiving holiday. Group one, so we're going to choose group one. Group one. Now what we want to have happen in this time zone is we want to disable group one so that on Thursday the 25th, it's going to see two time zones. It's going to see an enable and a disable. We know the system will take the disable over priority over the enable. Choose the time zone. Time zone is time zone number three. Let's get rid of my pencil. Step two. Step three. And there we go. What you're going to see here is real clear, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. it's going to enable the group, but look down here on lines 5 and 6. At 7 a.m. it's going to see two schedules, enable, disable, disable overrides, enable, the people in group 1 will not be able to come in. Very simple schedule. You would set that for every single holiday going forward. And once you have all of your holidays set at the beginning of each year, you would just simply change the dates because Thursday and Friday of Thanksgiving may not always be the 25th and the 26th. All right, so let's do the next time zone. Close these two screens here. Let's go back to my example. What we want to be able to do here is, is we have what's called an unlock passage mode first manager in. The functionality of this is I live in Denver and if we have that front door unlocking at 7 a.m. and relocking at 4 p.m. and it's a snow day, what happens if no one shows up that day? That door remains unlocked and unauthorized visitors can come in. So what we want to be able to do is we want to trip that unlock schedule only when someone shows up. And you're going to put those people in the certain, that have authorization. It could be the custodial staff, administrator, principal teacher. And once they enter their code or their credential, it will then activate that command. 
Now, this, there's two steps in order to do this. We're going to create what we call unlock or passage mode first manager in. And then the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to set a relock time. So it's actually two time zones involved to do this. The second time zone is we need to set the time for it to relock. And this is very similar to how we do a holiday schedule. We want this lock to relock at 4 p.m. Okay, so let's show you how to do this in the this, this system. We're going to, same thing, go up here to schedule. We're going to add a new time zone. We want this time zone to start. Now, the thing about the time zone in the uh, first manager end is you have to give or create a window of opportunity for this to happen. For example, if we know that Heather's coming in at 7 o'clock in the morning and we want the door to be unlocked between 7, we're not going to restrict Heather's movements to simply standing at the front of the door at 7 a.m. presenting the credential of the card. We need to create a window of time so that she has some flexibility on either side of that 7 a.m. window. So what I typically recommend is a half hour before and a half hour after. So we're going to create a window from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. so that when Heather comes in, presents her credential, pin or card, it's going to then take effect. It's going to unlock the door. So let's do that. So we're going to create a time called 6.30 as the start time, a.m. And then the stop time, that's when we're closing the window, is going to be 7.30. Okay. Let's copy this all the way down. Set all. Highlight, right click, copy. Let's change over here. We're going to right click. We're going to make this a Monday through Friday schedule. We're going to come here. We're going to call it um, passage mode by first manager. That's going to be Heather in this case here. And we can have as many people in that uh, management role as we desire. We're going to come over here to the event and we're going to call it passage mode by group one open window. Now you notice that we created time zone 4 to do this. Come down here to time zone 4, get rid of my pencil, switch to schedule view. When we do that, what you're going to notice is right here at 6.30 a.m. the passage mode window is open, meaning that it's available for this to be activated. On a snow day, no one's showing up that day, no one's presenting, in this case Heather, is presenting her car to come into the, to the building, therefore the building is not going to be unlocked. However, it's not a snow day, what we want to be able to do is make sure the lock relocks itself automatically at a set period of time. In this case, we've determined 4 p.m. Let's do that. Same thing. We're going to come up here. We're going to add a time zone. And again, this is just like we did with the holiday schedule. We're to simply, what time do we want it to start? What time do we want it to relock? We want it to be 4 p.m. Okay. We're going to clear all stop times. And we're going to copy this all the way down. And we're going to make this a Monday through Friday schedule. Come down here, relock at 4 p.m. We want it to lock. And this is time zone 5. Come down here, find 5. Get rid of the pencil. Step 2. Step, step 3 is switch to schedule view. You're done. Now what happens here is what you'll notice at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, it's going to lock. The door never unlocks that day, doesn't matter, it's, it's going to set a schedule to lock it, the lock's already locked. However, when Heather comes in because it's not a snow day and she presents her credential or another manager, what happens there is it's going to unlock, she just has to come in sometime between 6.30 in the morning and 7.30 in the morning, the lock will unlock and remain unlocked till 4 p.m. Now the question is going to come up is how do we activate this for people, how do we make this work for the managers. And that's a very simple process. Once we set up our schedules, we're going to come down here and we know that we have group one. We're going to go back to the global user screen. Now remember the global user screen is the database for all users. This is where we control the access. We let them in the door, we don't let them in the door. This is also where we assign um, them into different groups. So for example here what we want to do is we want to make Heather into group one. You come down here, set group assignment, and there we go. We would just simply double click, accept. If I come back here to the lock screen, what you'll notice is that Heather is in group one. That means she can activate that feature. Let's go back. If I want to be able to have multiple people do that, let's say I want Bob, I can hold down the control key to select the users, 
George and Todd to have the same functionality. We're going to highlight those users. Set group assignment. And simply here, it's add selected users. That's these selected users here to these groups. We want to be able to add group one, add selected users, accept. And there we go. Accept, and we're done. I come back to the lock screen. What you'll notice as I scroll down, there they are. They're in the lock screen. Same thing happened. Okay? So those are the basic schedules that most people ask uh, myself uh, in our our column called Tech Corner on the website, but most of our rep agencies and distributors will be asked these common questions as well. Now we've also written a white paper. It's located on our website, www.alarmlock.com. Click on the support tab, go all the way down to the bottom to Tech Library. Look for the header called DL Application and Notes, and down towards the bottom there, you'll see a white paper called DL Windows Time Zone Scenarios. In there will be screenshots similar to what we've done here today. I hope this has helped and answer any questions you have on setting schedules.